So next moving on to the monthly salary setting in the payroll. Right now here you can select the date for the month, date for the salary creation. So here I am giving September and here and we are giving with the employee, employee code and uh, one after the other. And here we can set the package for the specified employee. And here you can see on the right side that the package, different packages. And you can select that and we can save that. So it uh, has been saved successfully. We just gave OK. So it has been selected. The all packages has been selected. And right now next here you can edit the package. You can select different packages for the specified employee. So right now here in the first option I am just changing the package. And just I just pressed update. So it will be updated successfully. So next what I am doing is I am just going to the next option in the payroll that is monthly salary voucher. So what here we are doing is that we are creating the salary vouchers. Here there will be different voucher numbers you can see in the field and next I can select the month out there on the downside and the voucher date I can change. You can see different dates out there so I just can change it. And next I'm seeing is cash and bank account. You can select whether it's through cash or bank. And if the bank account has not been created, you can just make a bank account there as well. You just can give the name and there's a detail so you can give that. So next on the down, you can see the different employees, employee codes and the bonus, deduction, every detail. And what you can do here is that you just can give the addition in the status. And you can change the bonus deduction if anything in the advance salary. And it is uh, next we come to the status. So here you can just see whether if you have given the salary or you haven't given the salary. You can see whether if it's paid, you can see as paid, and if it's pending, you can see as pending. So in the drop down menu out there, you can change whether if it's paid, and if it's not been paid, we can change that to pending as well. So now, uh, right now what here I am doing is that I am just changing the salary of one person. That it has been changed to paid from pending mode. So you can see that. So the total amount is seen downstairs. Yeah, total amount is seen there. So and, uh, that has been changed to paid. And if any narration you can just give there. The narration we are giving paid the salary. So after giving that, you can just save it. So if you haven't given the cash or bank account, you can just give that in the option. And change that to bank. And narration is given. And the status is paid and you just can save it. Yes. Simultaneously, you, know, you can change every employee like that. If it's pending, you can do it pending. And next is the option we are going is to that is sa monthly salary register. So what the difference is there in the voucher, we are just changing the mode. Here we can do the addition as well. In the amount, in the cash details, everything we can do the addition. And uh, we can give the date, voucher date from type and uh, from which date to which date. And whether it's a uh, cash or bank through and the salary month can be given and we can search search with a specific type as told the voucher can be searched according to the type so right now I uh, searched according to the type that is monthly salary voucher so uh, what we, we can do here is the addition of the thing So what we can by double clicking to that you can just can go to the details of that employee or the specific voucher and I can just do the addition whether it's paid or pending. So here I am editing the mode of the status of the employee. So I just change from pending mode to paid mode and you can see in the down the salary amount and the narration also that is a paid and if you don't want it you can clear it and if you want to update you can down see the update and if you want to delete you can delete also. So what we are doing is that we are deleting the account. You can just press delete. Okay. 
here uh, if you want to change the mode from cash to bank you can just change to bank to cash so I have changed that to cash and uh, just back to the register if you just want to see you can see in the option that that the bank is changed to cash so if I just click that I can see the option that is paid that employees salary you can see it is as paid and the next employee is you can see it's as pending and here what I'm doing is the editing from pending to paid so after just changing that I'm just clicking the update button so you can see that it's updated successfully and next what we are doing is that we are just want to changing the amount of the salary just click that So if you want to change, uh, if the amount is less, you are increasing the amount of the salary of the specified person. So just clicking on to that, you can see the details of the specific employee. 